Let's take a look at how we can add and remove things from a form array. If we go over to the angular.io and we click on docs, we click on API reference over here on the left, and scroll down, here's Angular Common. We can see all of the different packages and modules. Here is Angular Forms. We want to look at Form Array. Inside of Form Array, we can see everything about it. And here is the different parts of Form Array's class. We can see that there is a push method to add different things to this Form Array. We can see there's an at method to find a specific group at an index. If we had maybe three addresses, we could say formarray.at1, and we would find the second formarray group. The other two important class methods that we have is remove at, which is going to be what we use to remove certain addresses, and length to see how many groups are inside of this array. Let's keep all of these in mind as we go through and start using them in our own application. We'll go back to our app, Let's add an add address button right below here so that we can add multiple addresses. We'll start in the HTML. Underneath this addresses group here, we're going to have an add address button. Let's say text right so that we can align it to the right. And then inside of there, we'll have an A tag. Click for our event binding. We'll create a new method on our reactive form class called add address. Class is equal to button, button, info. Add address. Let's take a look. Perfect. We have this add address button now. It doesn't really do anything. Angular will throw an error since we never actually defined add address. We're going to do that now on our component class add address. First we need to find the form array let addresses equal this.form.get addresses. Now that we have our addresses form array we can push to it addresses dot push this dot fb group and inside of that group we're going to have city and country. Now we're getting this error that says push does not exist on abstract control. When we do this.form.get, it's going to give us the type of abstract control. We want to tell it that, hey, this is a form array, and that's why we're able to push to it. While this code will work, it doesn't really make sense to have this error hanging out here. So we can tell Angular and TypeScript exactly what this is. We can say, hey, this is a form array. So now you know that that should have the push method on it. And Angular doesn't know what form array is. We need to bring form array in right here. And now that we have the class for form array, we can tell Angular that this is a form array and we can push to it. Let's take a look at our HTML. We should be able to add addresses now. If we click add address, we can see that there's our second address and third and if we type into each of these and submit, well, we have required, all right, submit that. You can see we have addresses, three of them. We have a form group, form group, form group. Inside of each of those, we have our form control values. That works perfect for us. Now let's add the remove button so that we can remove a specific address if we want to. On our component HTML, we're going to add the remove button to the panel heading. So it'll show right after it says address number one, two, three. We're going to add a button that says remove. And we'll just make this a span since I don't want the A tag to override any styles on the panel heading. We'll say remove. And here we'll add a click event binding to remove address. We also need to pass in the index so that we know which address to remove. Save that. Let's go look over. Notice that there's a remove button here, but there shouldn't be a remove button if there's only one address. We want to make sure that you can only remove addresses if there are multiple addresses. Let's go back in. 
we'll do a structural directive for ngif. And we'll do form.controls.addresses.controls.length is greater than one. So if there are more than one form group inside of this form array, then and only then will we show this remove button. Our remove button is gone, add address. We can see both remove links are there. Let's go ahead and wire that up now. We'll create the remove address. And we have the index. We'll have to grab the form array again, let addresses equal form array, this.form.get. Then we can say addresses dot remove at i. So we've used push the class method on form array to add something and remove at to remove at a certain index. Let's give that a try. Add and we'll remove. Let's remove the first one. And the 333 three should have been brought up to the number one spot, which it did. Everything is looking great so far. Now we have the ability to add a form group and form controls to an array. This can be really helpful for when we want to do multiple things on one profile, like an address, or if somebody had multiple different social profiles, that would work as well. The last thing we're going to do in our Angular 2 Forms course is to make sure that we can validate city and country. The interesting thing is that we need to validate it for multiple different parts of our form array. If we set both of these to required, which we have so far, we want to make sure that if this is filled out, validation message also shows for here if it is still not filled out. Let's figure out how to handle that in the next lesson.